Hello everyone, this is Juan from KenHub and today I'm going to do a tutorial dedicated to another set of bones that you find on your hand and these are the metacarpals. And as you can see here, the metacarpals are located between these bones here, this group of bones that we talked about, the carpal bones or the bones of the wrist. And on a distal portion, you can see that the metacarpals are articulating with the phalanges, more specifically the proximal phalanges. Now, knowing that, I want to clarify something before we go and move on to more detail on the metacarpals. Now you're looking at the hand on the palmar, or also known as the volar surface. So this image here is the palmar surface, and you notice here a little bit of the radius, which is located laterally, and a little bit of the ulna that you know is located medially. So for that reason, you know that this direction here going toward the thumb, and then if we start moving medially, you have the index finger, the middle finger, the annular, also known as the ring finger, finger, and at the most medial part of the hand, then you have the little finger. But if we look at the dorsal side or the back of the hand, you still see here the radius, and let me highlight the metacarpals here, and you notice here the radius still located on a lateral side, the ulna located on the medial side. So here on this perspective, it changes the positions, the lateral and medial. So here you'll have the lateral, and here you're going to have the medial side, and the thumb going all the way to the little finger. So now that we have this cleared out, because it's usually a bit confusing to me, so I wanted to clear it out for you as well so we can talk about these bones in a little bit more detail. Now, as you noticed already, there are five metacarpals, and each metacarpal is divided into three main structures. So let's look at the middle finger here, where you can see uh, this metacarpal that seems to be a little bit larger. And there are three struct structures that you need to know. The first one is located on the proximal side, and this is known as the base of the metacarpal. If you go all the way down to the middle portion of the metacarpal, this is known as the shaft, because as you can see, the metacarpals are a little bit like a long bone, but they're not as long as, say, the humerus or the femur, but they're still long bones, and for that matter, you can clearly see a body or a shaft for this bone. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.